चेयरमैन साहब को स्टार्ट अनिल सर हैव यू ज्वाइंट सर यस ही इज देयर नमस्कार सर नमस्कार कैन वी ज्वाइन सर कैन वी स्टार्ट हाउ वी कैन स्टार्ट सर नमस्कार सर सो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू इफ यू कुड स्टार्ट बिगिन ओके ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड एएसीटी आई डॉक्टर इलंगोवन करियप्पन असिस्टेंट इनोवेशन डायरेक्टर इनोवेशन सेल मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन एक्सटेंड अ वार्म वेलकम टू ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे and the officers from different ministries vice chancellors principals faculty and students from higher education institutions and schools across the country joined online for this inaugural function of e symposium on building innovation and entrepreneurial system in education institutions to celebrate 75 years of progressive india and the glorious history of its people culture and achievement the government of india is celebrating azad ke amrit mahotsav from 6 10 to 16 january 2022 the ministry of education and aict in collaboration with the dp iit ministry of commerce and industry ministry of culture government of india are jointly organizing innovation week as a part of this celebration and also 75 innovative technologies led by student and faculty members from academic academic institutions are participating in this e exhibition This Innovation Week will highlight various initiatives undertaken and deliberations on various thrust areas related to promoting innovation and entrepreneurship in our country. With this brief note, now I would like to welcome Honorable Chairman AICT Professor Anil D. Sastrabuddhe Sir to deliver the welcome address. Namaskar. Good morning to all of you. Honorable Minister of State, Minister of Education, Dr. Raj Kumar Ranjan Singh Ji. श्रीमती अदिता करवाल सेक्रेटरी स्कूल एजुकेशन श्री संजय मूर्ति जी सेक्रेटरी हायर एजुकेशन श्री अनुराग जैन सेक्रेटरी डीपीआईआईटी फ्रॉम मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स विनर्स ऑफ मंथन हैकेथॉन दोज हैव वन द टॉयकोथॉन द टॉय बिजनेस लीग 75 पोटेंशियल इनोवेटिव स्टार्टअप्स टू हैव ऑल जॉइंड अस डॉक्टर अभय जेरे एंड हिज एंटायर टीम both in ministry of education as well as in aict we are celebrating innovation week from today onwards for about next one week there are many programs which have been arranged all the principals directors vice chancellors from both our ministry and dp iit who have joined i welcome them on behalf of both ministry of education aict as well as dp iit at the outset uh, there have been okay of activities which have been presented during these next two days especially there are five panel discussions there are four eminent speakers who are going to give keynote addresses there is a fireside chat and this is a festival of innovation in so, in some way and we are celebrating azadi ka amrut mahotsav 75 years of independence we have already achieved significant things during these years but especially in the last 6 7 years the innovation movement which has begun from the ministry of education has been giving us rich dividends for example india which stood at 81st position in the global innovation index has catapulted itself to the 46th position today our potential certainly is in the top 10 whether it is from the school education side of higher education side institutions of eminence if all of us put in our best efforts in order to create a culture of innovation in our institutions starting from our curricula starting from our examination reforms and examination system giving lot of opportunities for our students be it through smart india hackathon or programs of innovation which are conducted in different institutions through our innovation councils whether it is in terms of hackathons of special nature today we have got uh, you know winners of manthan hackathon we have winners from our own aicts chhatra vishwakarma award we had a toy hackathon all of them who deserve support 
We have been providing support in the 75th year of independence. We have chosen 75 such great ideas which will convert themselves into great startups. And I'm seeing a day in a couple of years' time that some of them will become unicorns. With this, uh, I again welcome all of you to this very interesting two days event. But followed by that, the exhibition which is ongoing, I request all of you to attend that and get inspired from out of this. Thank you very much. Namaskar. in the, in the law enforcement sir thank you ellen honorable minister of state for education rajkumar ranjan singh uh, ji shrimati anita karwal secretary school education shri sanjay murthy secretary higher education shri anurag jain secretary dp iit Professor Anil Sahasrabuddhe, Chairman AICT, Professor Punia, Vice Chairman AICT, my colleague and friend, Shri Rakesh Ranjanji, and other colleagues at Ministry of Education and AICT. This Mantra Hackathon was extremely unique, and for the first time, Ministry of Education AICT and our innovation cell collaborated with BPRND to organize this hackathon on national security, cyber security. We had 20 problem statements. The hackathon was launched on 26th of August 2021 and the response was enormous. For just 20 problem statements, we received more than 2,200 ideas. It was screened by three different individuals, three different evaluators independently. And finally, 115 teams actually participated in grand finale. This was 36 hours hackathon online. And out of 20 problem statements, we could get really great solutions for 14 problem statements. And this is the opportunity today for us to felicitate the winning teams for these 14 problem statements. So, for the first problem statement, which is based on identifying of crime-prone area, and we have the winning team, Safe Zone, from Institute of Gyan Ganga, Institute of Science and Technology. For the problem statement, Advanced Object Detection of Images, we have Team Rana from Thapal University. For problem statement three, identification of hate content. The, uh, the team is Hack Frenzy, which is there, which has been the winner. For the problem statement, identification of artificially generated deep fake content. Right. Deep. You can read deep fake content. Yes, yes, now. Ha, deep fake content. The team is Origin Retrievers. For problem statement, submission of genuine and anonymous tip-offs, we have disguise for tips, which is there. <clears throat> for problem statement, identification of people at risk of radicalization, team is Thivra. For the problem statement, Analysis of English content. The winning team is elite. For the problem segment, 
event detection in CCTV footages. The team is Tim Akas Akatsuki. Akatsuki. Sorry, it's a difficult name to pronounce. So the for problem statement tracing origin of social media posts. The team is Elon fans. For the problem statement abstraction based text summarizer. The winning team is Code Hunters. For problem statement face recognition at different angles, varying angles. Hawkeye. For the problem statement OCR on Hindi handwritten text. The winning team is Team Falcon. For the problem statement detection of artificially molded fingerprints so that you cannot fool the system the team winning team is fame bots so these were the 14 problem statements for which we had winning team they will receive their check money and prize money from us subsequently and we hope that these 14 teams continue to engage with our security agencies on taking these projects forward and actually implementing these projects at field level. So thank you, Ellen, for this opportunity. Thank you, thank you sir, for <laughs> appreciating the business of Mantan Akatan and guiding us in implementing various innovative initiatives in higher education institutions and schools across the country. Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Secretary Higher Education, Ministry of Education, Sri Sanjay Muthi, sir, to address the participants. Please, sir. Uh, today's chief guest, Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh Ji, Honorable Minister of State for Education, my senior colleague Srimati Anita Karwal Ji, Secretary of School Education, my distinguished colleague uh, Sri Anurag Jain, Secretary of DPIIT, Professor S. Budde Ji, Chairman AICT, my colleague in the Ministry Rakesh Ranjan Ji, Additional Secretary, Dr. Abhay Jare, Head of the Innovation Cell and his colleagues. The Vice Chancellors, faculty, students and industries and all other participants in today's uh, event. First of all, I would like to thank DPIIT for giving us this platform and opportunity to showcase the events that the Ministry has been doing in this Innovation Week celebrations. Uh, the symposium has been preceded by this virtual exhibition wherein more than 75 innovators are displaying their uh, products. We see this as a great opportunity to industry to identify or learn about this more and I urge them as well as the other students and faculty who are participating to have a glimpse of the innovations that they have brought about. Uh, as just now told by Dr. Uh, Abe Jere, I congratulate all the month and hackathon winners. I think the problem statements that have been just depicted to you just in front of you show the scale of problems that have been addressed by them and I really urge them and congratulate them in their journey towards providing better solutions for us going forward. As you know this innovation cell in the ministry has been established in 2018. It has come a long way in developing various initiatives towards progress, uh, providing innovation in our educational institutions. While DPIIT, DST, MSME, Niti Aayog and all other ministries of the Government of India are collaborating in developing and incubating or setting up incubators and accelerators across the country. The journey is long and we require and require the support further to ensure that this gets a greater holding in many other institutions also. But having said that, the critical factor is to ensure that there are a pipeline of great ideas in which these incubation centers can work on. And I think the platform that is provided in this week's uh, symposium will provide and urge and uh, motivate all the students and faculty towards this direction. I also would like to mention that we are on this journey of ensuring that we have these innovation cells in most of our higher education institutions. We have done around 2,500 so far now, sir, and hope to do 5,000 in this year. And the focus would be not only to ensure that these are in the tier one cities, but to move out to 
tier two and tier three colleges and institutions to ensure that the talent that is available there get an opportunity to be participating in this type of events. Uh, in another factor, to ensure that the students are guided well, there has been an innovation ambassador initiative launched by the Innovation Cell, wherein more than 10,000 faculty members have been uh, guided or apprised about uh, the nature of such type of innovations, concepts of design thinking, handling I ideas, etc. And I think this will go a long way in further deepening this uh, initiative of uh, generating innovation. Along with the school education department, we propose to train another 50,000 uh, teachers uh, as uh, school innovation ambassadors. And so far, we have done around 12,000 teachers. And I am really thankful for Anita, Madam, for having supported us in this initiative, uh, not only in bringing the school uh, on board, but also in trying to motivate our colleagues in all other ministries to be part of the Smart India Hackathon. While we have released guidelines on the national innovation and startup policy for faculty and students, I urge all of uh, the colleagues who participate, who are uh, joining in for the first time, to have a look at this and gain what type of initiatives and practices they need to adopt while going forward in this matter. While we had a look at uh, the various other ones, there are many other ministries which are also participating or organizing various hackathons uh, in their respective area. The my colleague in DPIIT itself is organizing one on the Gati Shakti, one on logistics itself in, during this period. Similarly, we have been partnershiping with him on the Toy Khatan, wherein he has given us an excellent platform to ensure that our participants are able to interact with the industry. And we look forward to his further support to ensure that the winners of our teams in this Smart India Hackathon get a similar platform to <coughs> present their cases to the industry environment or uh, circles that they have an access to. Now, uh, we also need to be grateful for DPIIT for ensuring, sir, giving 80% concession in the IPR filing rates. This is a major, major initiative or a concession they have given to the education institutions. And I think it is our responsibility as education institutions now to avail of this benefit by filing greater patents and uh, realizing the hope and uh, so hope that they have placed on us. I mean, uh, and I'm confident that we will be meeting up that challenge, especially in light of the support or the response that we have come to the ARIA rankings. The last recent one rankings that we have launched, we have had double the participation towards uh, being part of that ranking, and I'm sure this is an indication towards the greater participation we hope to get from all the institutions. Uh, last but not the least, I would like to thank Professor Anil Sasbudeji and his entire team, who has been working tirelessly towards ensuring that innovation does get deep-rooted in our education institutions. Uh, without further ado, I thank everyone for participating here, and the Honorable Minister for trading his valuable time for participating. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir, for your address and uh, guiding us in the successful implementation of various initiatives of innovation cell in higher education institution. Sure, sir, uh, we will assure that we will establish 5,000 institution innovation council in higher education institutions and the school innovation ambassador training program will increase from 12,000 to 50,000 under your guidance. Thank you, sir. Now I request Deepan Shagu, Assistant Innovation Director, MIC to announce funding and mentoring support for 75 innovative technologies with startup potential. Deepan, please. Thanks, Dr. Alan. Namas mm. Namaskar, sir. Mm. Namaskar, Chief Guest of the this program, Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh, sir, Honorable Minister of State, Secretary Higher Education, Sri K. Sanjay Murthy, sir, Secretary School Education, D Secretary DPIAT, Additional Secretary, Technical Education, Rakesh Ranjan sir, and Chief Innovation Officer of MIC. Professor Anil D. Sastrabhude sir, Chairman of AICT. Good mornings to all. To encourage our young minds to pursue innovation and startup as an alternative career of choice and making our educational institutions as an epicenter for such innovations and entrepreneurs to happen, Innovation Cell of Ministry of Education and AICT together has started many initiatives 
to identify and handhold ideas from academic institutions on a regular basis. For this, a 360-degree experiential learning program has been designed and in place in the name of National Innovation Contest and through which we are scouting and identifying the innovative ideas from academic institutions and provide handholding supports to these ideas to develop into innovations and further into startups. This learning cycle starts from the very beginning stage of identifying the problems by visiting the students and faculties to visit to the different markets, societies and industries and then convert these problems into a solution, then into an innovation and then developing the business opportunity around these solutions and converting into a startup. So this 360 degree learning experience actually goes for eight months to one year period and through which Ministry of Education Innovation Cell, AICT and all these institutions, those have established these institutions innovation councils in their campuses, all these work in a very coordinated fashion and support each other. And the result of, the result of it is in last two and a half years, we have scouted and identified more than 30,000 ideas, proof of concepts and innovations from these academic institutions. And then we conducted a series of workshops trainings, mentoring sessions, and also engaged more than 300 mentors, startup founders, to provide one-to-one -one mentoring support to these ideas, and the result of it, this. So in this two year, 30,000 ideas has gone to phase by phase, and finally we have reached to a level, and I have these 75 technologies, and out of which already 37 has already been converted into startups. and from Ministry of Education side and AICT side, we have allocated a fund amount of 10 crores, and so far more than three crores has been already uh, 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 set up, and we are going to release very soon. And today we are, I'm just going to brief all these 75 technologies. I can't display each and every one, but I will show the list how we have done it. So this is the snapshot of the, all these 75 technologies. We have nurtured, we have handled, and also now we are going to provide them the funding support with incubation linkage. So from the representation of all these 75 technologies from 16 sectors, that means our students and the faculties, the startups and the innovations, it is catering to the all kind of sectors. It's not only restricted to only the education sector. So you can see solutions are addressing to the clean and portable water, education, food processing and nutrition, renewable energy and affordable, uh, renewable and affordable energy, infrastructure and construction technologies, ICT, blockchain, AI, ML, smart vehicles, robotics, software, sports and fitness, sustainable environment, IoT-based solution for security and surveillance, waste management, agriculture, healthcare, and other emerging areas of startups. So I'm, in next two to three minutes, I'm just going to take you brief the list of uh, innovations. So under the clean and portable water, there are four innovations. And you can see the pictures of these innovations and all these are now in the market and they are also started doing the business. So there are four innovations under this theme. Then under theme of education, we have two inno innovations and all these, both of these two innovations already converted into startup. So these are the institutions which are there on the right. Yes. 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 Just yes. mention that. So yes. That. So uh, you can see the uh, innovations and the team lead name and also institute which has helped them to develop this innovation with our guidance and also the state name from where this team belongs. Now comes to the ICT, cyber physical systems and blockchain. There are three innovations and under theme food processing and nutrition, there are two innovations. Now comes to under the renewable and affordable energy, there are three innovations are eligible for funding support and under infrastructure and construction, one innovation and under robotics and drones, there are two innovations eligible for receiving the funding support. <coughs> under smart vehicles category, there are three innovations and under under the themes of software, sports and fitness, and sustainable environment, three numbers are here, and one under each theme. So maximum uh, uh, innovations we received under the IoT-based technologies and solution, there are eight. Under waste management, again, there are eight number of innovations. Under agriculture, there are 10 number of innovations. And the maximum number actually received under healthcare and medical devices. So there are 21 innovations under this category. And this is list of one to seven. 
and this is 8 to 14 and this is 15 to 21. In addition to this, also there is another category that is, we call it other emerging areas of innovations for startups and we have innovations under this category too. So uh, this is the list of all 75 technologies and have the startup potential and we hope Already 37 is already converted to startup and all the remains also they will convert in startup in the next few months. And congratulations to all and for securing this funding assistance and incubation linkage support from Ministry of Education and AICT. Thank you. Over to Anna. Thank you so much, Deepan. Uh, Arti, congratulations to all the students and faculty who have received funding and mentoring support. I am sure this funding support would help you to take your innovation to next level. Thank you, Deepan. Now I will now I request Secretary DPIIT, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Sri Anurag Jain sir to address the participant. Mani Mantri Mahadaji, Mary Varish Sathi, Secretary School Education, Anita Karwalji, Mary Bhat Pri Dost Secretary Higher Education, Sanjay Murti Ji, Anil Sahasbuddhi Ji. अभय जेरे जी और बाकी सभी साथी लोग जो आज इस कॉन्फ्रेंस में हमसे जुड़े हुए हैं सबसे पहले तो मैं धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगा हायर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट और स्कूल एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट का कि आप लोगों ने यह कार्यक्रम आयोजित किया आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव के तहत हम लोग यह कार्यक्रम आयोजित कर रहे थे डीपीआईटी इज द नोडल मिनिस्ट्री तो यह जैसा कि सरकार का यहां पे काम करने का तरीका है वर्तमान में कि होल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट अप्रोच से कोई काम किए जाए तो इस सप्ताह को जब हम लोगों की बात आई आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव में तो हम लोगों ने कहा कि इसको हम लोग स्टार्टअप एंड इनोवेशन वीक के रूप में करना चाहते हैं क्योंकि 2016 में ऑन 16th ऑफ जनवरी माननीय प्रधानमंत्री सात दिन का कार्यक्रम है, तीस डिपार्टमेंट मिलके ये कार्यक्रम कर रहे हैं। ये अपने आप में सरकार में करीब अस्सी डिपार्टमेंट होते, तीस डिपार्टमेंट इस कार्यक्रम में शामिल हैं। तो ये पूरी तरीके से सरकार का होल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एक्शन के साथ ये सप्ताह है। इसमें स्कूल एजुकेशन, हायर एजुकेशन और एआईसीट एक्चुअल में देखा जाए तो हायर एजुकेशन और स्कूल एजुकेशन स्टार्टअप के फ्यूचर के बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स हैं अब क्विकली मैं बताऊं 6 साल के अंदर ये जो 6 साल का स्टार्टअप की हमारी जर्नी रही है स्टार्टअप मूवमेंट 600 से ज्यादा डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स में पहुंच चुका है 60000 से ज्यादा डीपीआईटी रिकॉग्नाइज्ड स्टेट्स हैं स्टार्टअप्स हैं 6 लाख से ज्यादा डायरेक्ट जॉब्स दिए गए पाए हैं अब चाहे इनोवेशन की बात करें फंडिंग की बात करें इन्वेस्टर्स की बात करें वो सब भी 6 गुने से ज्यादा है कोई 7 गुना है 8 गुना है 9 गुना है पर 6 साल में हर चीज इकोसिस्टम 6 गुने से ज्यादा बड़ा हो चुका है कई चीजें उससे भी ज्यादा बड़ी हो चुकी हैं तो एक ये बहुत बड़ी सफलता दिखाता है स्टार्टअप मूवमेंट की आज समय कम है पर मैं आप सभी साथियों से स्पेशली जो यंग बच्चे जुड़े हुए हैं उनसे कहूंगा कि सप्ताह का कार्यक्रम को देखें जो जो उनके इंटरेस्ट का सेशन हो उसको अटेंड करें इसमें काफी लर्निंग्स होंगी पूरा इकोसिस्टम जो पिछले 6 साल में डेवलप हुआ है किसी भी आदमी को अपना कोई आईडिया जब आता है आईडिया को ले जाने के लिए और एक स्टार्टअप तक बनाने के लिए हर जगह सरकार ने बड़ी फैसिलिटेटिव पॉलिसीज बनाई हुई है चाहे वो फंडिंग सपोर्ट की बात हो चाहे मार्केटिंग सपोर्ट की बात हो मतलब मैं आपको बताऊं कि हमारा जो गवर्नमेंट प्रोक्योरमेंट रूल्स है वो स्टार्टअप के लिए चेंज किया गया कि स्टार्टअप यदि कोई रजिस्टर्ड है तो उसको कोई पुराने एक्सपीरियंस की जरूरत नहीं होनी चाहिए आप लोगों को ध्यान होगा कि कई बार जो कई ड्रामास वगैरह में कटाक्ष किया जाता था कि एक्सपीरियंस हमसे मांगते बिना पहली बार जब तक काम करने का मौका नहीं देंगे तो एक्सपीरियंस कहां से मिलेगा तो उस प्रकार की चीज स्टार्टअप के लिए की गई है पब्लिक प्रोक्योरमेंट में सपोर्ट दिया गया है इनकम टैक्स में बड़े चेंजेस किए गए हैं इनकम टैक्स एक्ट में कि यदि आप स्टार्टअप हैं तो किस प्रकार के यदि आपको 10 साल के अंदर तीन बार आपको इनकम टैक्स एग्जेम्पशन मिल सकता है आपको जब यदि शेयर वैल्यूएशन बढ़ जाए तो उसकी जो एडिशनल अमाउंट मिलता है उसके ऊपर आपको छूट मिलती है तो इस प्रकार से पूरा का पूरा एक एनवायरमेंट जो फैसिलिटेटिव किया गया दैट इज फ्रॉम द होल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट अप्रोच इट इज नॉट दैट डीपीआईटी इज डूइंग समथिंग 
पूरी सरकार मिलके स्टार्टअप को कैसे आगे बढ़ाया जा सके इस तरीके से काम कर रही है मैं हायर एजुकेशन और स्कूल एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट को ये कार्यक्रम आयोजित करने के लिए एक बार फिर बधाई देना चाहूंगा हम लोग ये जो कार्यक्रम सात दिन का आयोजित कर रहे हैं ये एक और एफर्ट है कि हम इसको इंस्टीट्यूशलाइज कर पाए हर साल क्योंकि 16 जनवरी है तो एक निर्णय लिया गया है डिपार्टमेंट में माननीय मंत्री जी की अध्यक्षता में कि हर साल हम इसको साथ एक वीक जो है पूरा 16 जनवरी के आसपास स्टार्टअप एंड इनोवेशन वीक के रूप में मनाएंगे जिससे एक मौका मिले जब हम सारे पॉलिसी मेकर सारे स्टेक होल्डर्स सारे बच्चे मतलब इस सिस्टम के इको में जितने प्लेयर्स है सब एक साथ मिलकर मंथन करें कि स्टार्टअप में हम अभी तक कहाँ पहुंच गए और इसको हम आगे कहा ले जाने वाले स्टार्टअप की जो सबसे बड़ी सफलताओं में हम लोग बात करते हैं 2021 कोविड के दौरान भी पिछले एक साल में 40 से अधिक यूनिकॉन स्थापित हुए आई होप एवरीवन अंडरस्टैंड्स यूनिकॉन क्या होता है नॉर्मली वन बिलियन डॉलर की नेटवर्थ को हम लोग यूनिकॉन कहते हैं इसके साथ देश में अस्सी से ज्यादा यूनिकॉन हो गए जो स्टार्टअप कन्वर्ट हुए जिसमें से चालीस से ज्यादा केवल एक साल हुए मतलब जिस तेजी से यूनिकॉन की संख्या बढ़ रही है ये काबिल तारीफ है और ये जो हमारी यंगर जनरेशन है ये पूरी तरीके से बधाई के पात्र हैं इस चीज के लिए हायर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ने जो काम किए आई वाज वेरी इम्प्रेस जो मंथन का हैकोथन हुआ जिसमें नेशनल सिक्योरिटी से रिलेटेड चौदह प्रॉब्लम्स आपने सॉल्व किए वो तो मुझे लगता है कि नेशनल सिक्योरिटी वाले लोगों के लिए बहुत काम के सोल्यूशन उसके अलावा टॉयकथन की बात की गई टॉयकथन में बिजनेस लीक करके हम लोगों ने जब अभी अरेंज किया था चार पांच जनवरी को साथ में मिलके तो उसका परिणाम ये आया कि जो 117 जो विनर्स थे जिनको जिन्होंने पिचिंग की अपनी टॉय मैन्युफैक्चरर्स के सामने उसमें से मुझे ये बताया गया कि 46 का ऑलरेडी फंडिंग सपोर्ट तय हो गया एक दो दिन की कॉन्फ्रेंस में यदि फोर्टी आउट ऑफ एक का फंडिंग सपोर्ट तय हो जाए तो बहुत बड़ी बात है और आई एम ऑल्सो टोल्ड की बाकी सिक्सटी का सपोर्ट की तभी चल रही वो अभी खत्म नहीं हुई तो आइडिया सब अच्छे निकले इंडस्ट्रीज एक्साइटेडली लुकिंग एट इट तो आई विश सक्सेस टू द रिमेनिंग आइडियाज आल्सो ये जो 75 आपने आज अभी अपने विनर्स बताए ई सिंपोजियम के विनिंग आइडियाज ये भी बड़े प्रभावशाली है जैसा आपने लिस्ट बता रहे थे मैंने भी उस पर नजर मारी जो लिटरेचर मेरे को भेजी थी इसमें सबसे अच्छी बात जो निकल के आती है वो ये आती है कि ज्यादातर आइडियाज हमारे देश की सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स को सॉल्व करने की ओर एग्रीकल्चर के क्षेत्र में हेल्थ के क्षेत्र में पीने के पानी के क्वालिटी सुधारने में वास्तव में आम आदमी की जिंदगी को कैसे बेहतर बनाए ये सही इनोवेटिव चैलेंज का फायदा हो रहा है जब आप आम आदमी की जिंदगी को सुधारेंगे तो पक्की बात है कि आपकी क्लाइंटेल भी उतनी बढ़ेगी आपकी वैल्युएशन भी उतनी बढ़ेगी आपकी मार्केट भी उतनी बढ़ेगी तो ये दोनों तरीके से आप वास्तव में हमारी सोसाइटी की प्रॉब्लम को दूर करने का काम भी कर रहे हैं किसी भी देश की प्रगति में सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज होती है किस तरीके से उसका इंडस्ट्रियल सिनेरियो बढ़ता है हिस्टोरिकली हम लोग देखते हैं कि जब कोई इंडस्ट्री की प्रोडक्टिविटी बढ़ाते हैं टेक्नोलॉजी इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं तो उसका रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ बढ़ जाता है बट जब हम किसी इंडस्ट्री को नॉलेज और इनोवेशन बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री बनाते हैं तो उसकी जो रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ है वो एक्सपोनेंशियल हो जाती है तो ये जो स्टार्टअप कंसेप्ट है ये मेनली नॉलेज और इनोवेशन बेस्ड कंसेप्ट है तो मुझे लगता है कि हमारा जो अब हम देश के आजादी के पचहत्तरवें साल में हैं और हम उसको पूरा सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव में और माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने दो हजार साल के विजन की बात भी शुरू कर दी जिसके बारे में विचार कर रहे हैं तो मुझे ये लगता है कि अगले 25 साल में जो आने वाला है हमारे देश की हम लोग जो प्रॉस्पेरिटी की बात करते हैं कि हम लोग वापस सोने की चिड़िया बनेंगे और वॉट तो उसको चलने के लिए जो रोड टू प्रॉस्पेरिटी है वो स्टार्टअप ला सकते ये मेरा व्यक्तिगत रूप से भरोसा भी है और ये नॉलेज बेस्ड इनोवेशन बेस्ड जो इंडस्ट्रीज आएंगी वो हमारे देश की रोड टू प्रॉस्पेरिटी होंगी इसके लिए एक महत्वपूर्ण रोल जो कि हायर एजुकेशन और स्कूल एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट प्ले कर सकते हैं एक्चुअल में प्ले कर सकते हैं कहना नहीं चाहिए ऑलरेडी आप दोनों डिपार्टमेंट इस और काम कर रहे हैं पर इसको किस प्रकार से हम अपने नीचे तक इनग्रेन करें कल्चर को इनोवेशन और नॉलेज की कल्चर को यह सबसे महत्वपूर्ण है किसी देश की कल्चर बदलनी है तो लोग कहते हैं कि उसके स्कूल के बच्चों को पढ़ाई के सिस्टम में जारी कर दे तो मुझे लगता है कि मैडम भी बहुत उसमें इंटरेस्ट ले ही रही हैं कि हम लोग अपने यदि पाठ्यक्रम में 
स्टार्टअप के बेसिक सीड बोने शुरू कर दे सातवीं आठवीं क्लास से दसवीं क्लास तक आते आते बच्चों को स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम के बारे में और अपनी सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स को आइडेंटिफाई करने के लिए सॉल्यूशंस के लिए इनोवेटिव बातों की एक्चुअल पढ़ाई के दौरान बातें बताएं और करने की बात करें तो ये सिस्टम और डीप होगा और जैसा हायर एजुकेशन तक आते आते तो आपने पूरा थ्री सपोर्ट की बात की आईपीआर भी पढ़ाएंगे उसकी वर्कशॉप भी करेंगे इसकी कुछ छोटी चीजें हम लोग स्कूल एजुकेशन के उसमें भी कर सकते बेसिक एक्सपोजर दे हम ये एक्सपेक्ट नहीं कर सकते कि यदि सौ बच्चे क्लास में पढ़ रहे हैं तो सौ के सौ इनोवेटर बन जाएंगे सौ में से दो चार निकलेंगे बट बेसिक एक्सपोजर के बाद जिसकी इंटरेस्ट होगी वो उस तरफ चला जाएगा उसको फर्दर ट्रेनिंग और ये सारा मटेरियल आज के तारीख में पॉसिबल है ऑनलाइन तो उनके लिए स्पेशल क्लासेस कराना इस प्रकार से यदि अच्छा कोर्स डिजाइन किए जाए तो आई एम श्योर की वो हमारे देश की स्टार्टअप कल्चर को आगे ले जाने में बहुत सफल होंगे और उसकी वजह से हमारे देश में प्रॉस्पेरिटी आएगी एक बार फिर मैं पुनः दोनों विभागों का और सारे जो साथ में साथी आज जुड़े हुए एआईसीटी वगैरह सारे जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस उन सब का बहुत आभार करता हूं क्योंकि संजय मूर्ति साहब ने मेरा आभार किया पर मैं मानता हूं कि आप लोग मेरा काम कर रहे हैं बिकॉज आई एम द नोडल डिपार्टमेंट फॉर स्टार्टअप ऑल ऑफ अस आर वर्किंग टू इन द टीम स्प्रिट सो आई एक्सप्रेस माई हार्ट फेल्ट ग्रेटिट्यूड टू ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू सो मच Anurag sir thanks for extending all the help and support from DBIIT i just would like to take this opportunity to mention that from even ministry of education we are going to support the 75 startups or uh, innovations which we have identified and we will give them financial support or seed funding of 10 lakh rupees up to 10 lakh rupees along with mentoring support so that they come to a stage where you can take it forward sir great Thank you, sir, for addressing the participants and providing an opportunity to collaborate with Thank DPIT you, for Thank this you, program. Thank you, sir. DPIT, Sri R K Puri, sir, to brief about Toy Business League, please, sir. Thank you, everyone. And a very warm regards to. Chote chote college bhi aaye. Can you hear me? Good morning, everyone, and a warm regards to Honorable Minister of State, Secretary Higher Education, Secretary School Education, Secretary DPIT, Additional Secretary Rakesh Chandranji, Chairman AICT, Dr. Jere, and all the participants of this event. As we all know, Honorable Minister, uh, Prime Minister, has in his one ka baat speech on August 2020 stressed upon that India should be made into a global toy hub. Department of Education, as a part of that, organized the Starkathon 2021 and had a list of about 80, 117 such uh, winners who could have the potential ideas of being commercialized. Now, DPIG took the initiative of creating a Toy Business League event, which was to create a platform for clarification uh, for collaboration between the winners of Starkathon 21 and the toy industry. we are all aware of the fact that india has a lot of potential within itself and to bring that potential into some commercialization needed is needed an event a support from the ministry which dpiit and department of education both came together and did next slide please as i already said the department of higher education organized hackathon against challenges and a small brief on what what hackathon 2021 had it had a large number of participants say about one, more than 1 lakh it gave us around about 17000 ideas out of those 17000 ideas we were able to shortlist 117 winning teams which were classified into broad games having 15 teams five ideas digital games having 43 ideas physical toys 13 ideas and puzzles 11 ideas next slide please now the main uh, the main uh, focus was of this toy business league is to take a small step towards fulfilling the vision of honorable prime minister now for this some ground work had to be done next slide the 81 winning ideas were uh, placed before the 48 toy manufacturers it was a two day event which went for about 15 hours uh, intense discussions it was parallel sessions were held for all those board games physical toys and all this and we are happy to give you more statistics on this 
Toy Business League. Next slide, please. This is the groundwork which went into the Toy Business League success story. The 71 ideas were categorized into four segments physical games, board games, puzzles, and board. And uh, I think the uh, board games have been written twice. Then the main prime objective was to get the manufacturers to buy these ideas. So we had extensive meetings with the toy manufacturers. Webinars were held with them to in fact tell them the basic idea why is this toy business being organized. It is a, it, I'm happy to inform that the results of this toy business league were quite encouraging. We had 46 confirmed collaborations and 67 proposed collaborations. Now, this 67 proposed collaborations are ideas where the industries are interested and would like to re-interact with the innovators, which we are going to do in a short period of time. Next slide, please. These are the key outcomes. The basic, uh, you know, there's a snapshot of what we've done. The toy manufacturer showed interest in about 130 collaborations with 58 toy innovators. We have a detailed list, which we just can't uh, present here. 75, 72% of the toy innovators who participate in business league received interest from the toy manufacturer, which is a quite higher range of acceptance. Board games were the highest with 49%. Digital games came next with 24%. Puzzles with 18% and physical toys with 10%. The manufacturers, Fun School, showed the greatest interest in 34 uh, four possible collaborations. Frank Educational Age Private Limited gave out 25 such uh, you know commitments. Nerdy Nerd gave 13 such commitments. In we, when we come to the innovators, Team Macau got five interests. Team Creative Master got four interests. There are many others who got into three and four interests, which will be displayed in the next slide. Next slide, please. Now, this is the statistics graphical representation of how the toy business league went on. As in, in terms of percentage, if you see the board games gets a number of yeses, maximum number of yeses, digital games followed by physical toys and then by puzzles. Similarly, maybe is again the board games get the maybe possibilities means they are where the manufacturers are willing to have another set, a round of session with the innovators to buy their ideas. Next slide, please. This is a snapshot of what the industry wise, manufacturer wise, what are they mean their commitments? This just has already been shared. I had shared this just a couple of slides back. So Fun School and Frank International are the leaders in this. Next slide, please. Now, this is the evaluation which we had done basis of the feedback form which we had floated. The PIT had floated a feedback form to the all the manufacturers to you know find out what are the combinations where we can have further negotiations. So this statistics would give you an idea of what a novelty means the originality of the idea was preferred by the person at P3.6 or maximum ideas, novelty. And then similarly, scalability also came. At the, the, the novelty and scalability are the two different uh, parameters which got the maximum uh, support. Next slide, please. Here it is more clear here novelty and scalability. This is how we manage the Toy Business League, and I'm quite uh, happy to say that we are in the process of getting these manufacturers in contact with the innovators, and we have already developed an MOU to be signed subsequently so that all these things get commercialized in a what you can say in a way which where the innovators are not uh, where, where, where the innovators are quite secure of getting their just share in it. Next slide, please. That's all I think. So. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your brief presentation about Thai Business League uh, and the key success factor to the participants. Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Secretary, School Education, Ministry of Education, Srimadhi Anita Karwal, ma'am, to address the participant. Please, ma'am. Thank you. Am I audible? Uh, you're audible, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, respected uh, Minister of State, Dr. Singh, sir. Uh, my colleagues, Sanjay Murthy, Anurag Jain, uh, Rakesh Ranjan, the force behind uh, innovation and entrepreneurship, the chairman of AICT, Dr. Anil Sahasrabhade, and uh, vice chairman, Dr. Punia, and the man behind the wheels, Abhay Jare, uh, other colleagues, vice chancellors, industrialists, and I believe there are technocrats also here. 
A very good morning to you. <clears throat> First of all, a huge congratulations to the uh, winners of uh, Manthan 2021. Um, I was noticing, as Anurag mentioned, that the problems which were the problem statements which were given uh, related, of course, to security, but you know, overall to uh, our social fabric. And the problem statements were very interesting: uh, hate content, fake content, uh, facial recognition, uh, origin of social media, etc. Uh, what impressed me the most was that there was an entirely girls' team. It was called Fembot, and uh, this is the way to go. And I'm really happy that you know uh, girls are also participating in such huge numbers in this. It goes to show that these. Uh, uh, hackathons are being organized in such a beautiful manner. They are attractive. They are uh, inspiring uh, all kinds of students to join. So I would like to congratulate AICTE and Center for Innovation also for the huge amount of nation building work uh, and character building work that you're doing uh, through these uh, efforts. ये जो स्कूल एजुकेशन में हम लोग अभी उस मोड पर खड़े हैं जहां नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी आ गई है और हम लोग ने कभी सोचा नहीं था कि इनोवेशन एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप इस तरह की चीजें हमारे करिकुलम का पार्ट बन जाएंगी इफ यू लुक एट द करिकुलम फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ 2005 व्हिच इज द एक्सटेंड करिकुलम फ्रेमवर्क फॉर द प्रेजेंट अंटिल वी गेट द न्यू वन नोवेयर एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप or uh, the skill of innovation or of risk taking becoming job givers rather than job seekers these things are not even mentioned uh, about 15 or 16 years back and here we are in this vuka world uh, you know where this huge disruption is going to take place i feel the skill of innovation and the skill of risk taking is a disruption and unless this kind of disruption is integrated in my curriculum my children are not future ready and therefore i just want to say because anurag mentioned it that we are actually in the process of uh, developing the new national curricular framework uh, the committee has uh, been put in place it is headed by none other than dr kasturi rangan ji and uh, intense uh, discussions have been going on since october when the committee was formed and we hope to give a new national curriculum framework for school education uh, by the end of this year which will incorporate um, five things which i feel together are really important for uh, the child to be able to imbibe innovation as a part of their uh, uh, learnings and those five things are knowledge of india so when we are talking about problems related to social problems related to the country so knowledge of india becomes very important the second thing is scientific temper it is important that from early childhood grades to grade 12 scientific temper is imbibed and the curriculum framework is being built accordingly computational thinking which doesn't mean mathematics which doesn't mean that i have to be uh, an expert in calculus or you know trigonometry or whatever else because i'm not for example myself i do not even understand mathematical terms but a computational thinking a logical thinking process has to be imbibed early on then the fourth thing is citizenship where you are able to contribute to nation building you are able to understand your fundamental duties your rights and you are able to be very very responsible citizens and of course the fifth thing is 21st century skills these are the cross cutting themes for the national curricular framework which is going to be a part and integrated in the entire curriculum from early childhood to grade 12 and so this is an absolutely new um, structure and of course it requires a huge amount of teacher training it requires a huge amount of hand holding of educational administrators monitoring etc the beginning has been made um, i want to mention a few things in 2019 central board of secondary education introduced uh, artificial intelligence as a skill subject we became the first country in the world to introduce it as a subject uh, in a board, a national board. Of course, we were followed immediately by China and some others, but uh, they have not introduced it uh, as a subject, but as an option in one of one or two states. Now, AI for uh, social sector is the focus. 
So when we are teaching AI to our children, uh, the projects that they have to take up at the end of their learning has to be related to social problems. So that is the first thing that happened. Then, of course, we started getting into other domains of critical thinking and experiential learning to pedagogy, to teacher training, etc. Uh, Abhay has helped us with the School Innovation Ambassador Program. Uh, as was already mentioned, that we are trying to now get to about 50,000 teachers to become School Innovation Ambassadors. Um, AICT also roped in all of us in school education into the Toykathon program. And you would be surprised to know that when the Honorable Prime Minister, uh, he interacted with the children who had won the Toykathon, you had children ranging from the age of 10 years old to 18 years old. 10 years old communicating directly with the Prime Minister uh, about uh, uh, what, how they have solved the problem what was the problem statement and the innovation, innovative ideas that they have brought up. I think there is, there can be nothing better than that for ensuring that our children are future ready uh, for 2047 for what we are preparing these days. Our vision is being prepared for that. We are also with the help of CIC and uh, AICTE uh, also at the present moment designing a curriculum for design thinking. And uh, this is also going to be introduced in CBSE from the coming academic session. It is actually on the verge of being finalized. And design thinking, we feel, is the beginning of entrepreneurial ideas, of innovation. The whole idea of risk taking uh, is actually inbuilt in design thinking. So this, this is another step forward that uh, we have taken. So uh, all in all, I think uh, since we are short of time, I would just like to uh, say that uh, in the end, that the environment that is being built around innovation, entrepreneurship, et cetera, in the school education, in the higher education sector, with the help of DPIIT, with the help of so many other ministries, Anurag mentioned 30 ministries, our children have to be able to take advantage of that environment and higher education and school education. We are working together with full force to ensure that it happens through our curriculum and through various initiatives that we are jointly taking together. With that, I would like to say thank you very much for organizing this program. I love the presentations, the Toy League presentation, the presentation made by Abhay. I think these are kind of presentations which should go viral on the social media too. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am, for your address and guiding us in implementing innovation program like School Innovation Ambassador Training Program for school teachers across the country. Also, with your guidance, we will be able to create the culture of innovation across the schools in our country. Thank you, ma'am. I would now like to invite the chief guest of the today's no, program. Yeah, move, 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 move. That's it. Sir will be launching. Huh. <laughs> I would now like to invite a chief guest of today's program, Honorable Minister of State for Education, Dr. Ra Ram Rajkumar Ranjan sir, sir to launch a movie on Journey of Hackathon. Sir, please, sir. Thank you just okay. okay. Uh, I am privileged to launch uh, this. Uh, where to put it? Any, any, any. Okay. Okay. okay, sorry. Please, sir. Sir. Innovation, invention, breakthrough. Throughout history, Indian scientists have blazed a trail of discoveries that have transformed the quality of life through science and technology. We have the largest pool of STEM professionals in the world. Indian scientists and engineers continue to create solutions in the field of technology, medicine, metallurgy, textiles, space exploration, and many more. However, still India is in a state of flux, with many challenges facing the nation today. Our youth are up to the challenge. They are raring to go and ready to find solutions.
Smart India Hackathon, a unique platform. It combines the energy of youth with their scientific minds to find solutions that help improve lives through breakthrough innovations. साथियों बीते पांच छह वर्षों में हैकाथोन को देश की समस्याओं के समाधान का एक बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म बनाया गया है इसके पीछे की सोच है देश के सामर्थ्य को संगठित करना उसे एक माध्यम देना कोशिश यह है कि देश की चुनौतियां और समाधान से हमारे नौजवान का सीधा कनेक्ट हो जब ये कनेक्ट मजबूत होता है तो हमारी युवा शक्ति की प्रतिभा भी सामने आती है और देश को बेहतर समाधान भी मिलते हैं द स्मार्ट इंडिया हैकाथॉन हैज ग्रोन इन टू द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट ओपन इनोवेशन मॉडल दैट प्रमोट्स आइडिएशन इनोवेशन एंड ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप इट इनकरेजेस स्टूडेंट्स टू यूज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी to solve challenges that we face as a nation today some of the students have carried forward their ideas and commercialized them to build their own ventures the smart india hackathon has evolved over the last 5 editions to an annual mega event we have developed a retro kit to convert the existing combustion engine vehicles into the electric ones and we are starting from the passenger auto rickshaws the smart india hackathon made us realize the potential of this idea gave us the confidence and resources to take the leap and incorporate as a startup right up to the graduation this year in 2022 smart india hackathon is larger and grander as it is part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav celebration of 75 years of independence for the smart india hackathon 2022 the focus is various themes that are crucial to our society today The Smart India Hackathon contest has two age groups: Smart India Hackathon senior for bachelors, masters and PhDs and Smart India Hackathon junior for 6th to 12th grade students, which has been added this year. In 2017, about 40,000 students took part. These numbers grew almost 5 times to over 2 lakh by 2020. and this year in 2022 the participation numbers are expected to grow manifold corporates ngos and psus have also recognized the importance of this event and are keen to be part of it every year this participation by isro in uh, unearthing the native talent that has helped us solve many of the was problems of the common man as well as society and we are happy that the smart india hackathon has gone a long way in promoting the vision of isro as well as the mandate with which the whole indian space program was started in this country the smart india hackathon has span india penetration maine smart hackathon attend kiya ऐसा प्रोग्राम इन फ्यूचर आगे में और होते रहने से हम जैसे छात्रों को नॉर्थ ईस्ट में और मेन स्ट्रीम के साथ जुड़ने का मौका मिलेगा हैकाथॉन्स हैव बिकम अ यूनिक लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस फॉर स्टूडेंट्स व्हेयर दे एक्वायर रियल वर्ल्ड स्किल्स आई वन द एसआईएच 2019 एडिशन एंड आई प्रेजेंटली वर्क एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट रिसर्च इंडिया This was a truly transformative experience. Post winning SIH, I actually got the opportunity to participate at the Singapore India Hackathon. At these hackathons, I got to explore my creativity beyond my technical education, and I I was able to inculcate skills that are sought after by employers all across the globe. For many institutions, the Smart India Hackathon has been a fruitful experience. स्मार्ट इंडिया हैकाथॉन 2018 के आने के बाद काशी हिंदू विश्वविद्यालय में इनोवेशन स्टार्टअप इंटरप्रेन्योरशिप और इनक्यूबेशन का एक इकोसिस्टम तैयार हुआ है जिसके कारण यहां के छात्र छात्राएं एवं अध्यापकों ने लगभग 50 से ज्यादा इनक्यूबेशन और स्टार्टअप के ऊपर काम किया है और लगभग एक करोड़ रुपये से ज्यादा की उनको फंडिंग प्राप्त हुई है स्मार्ट इंडिया हैकाथॉन इज जस्ट अराउंडर since school students too are getting to participate starting this year 
Last year, my friends and I we participated in Toy Cathin where we created a digital game and won the first prize. This year, when we get to participate in the Smart India Hackathon, I will get the opportunity to tackle the new real world problems and create something that will be helpful for the people of my country. Have you logged in yet? Do you have it in you to find a solution and become a winner? Join us this year for the Smart India Hackathon 2022. Log on to www.sih.gov.in today. Thanks uh, uh, the movie on Journey of Hackathon. I also now request uh, uh, Minister <coughs> Sir to launch the Smart India Hackathon 2022 problem statement. Oh, just, just PPT. Show the PPT. Show the PPT. Okay. Just click. Okay. Uh, so, sir, uh, this year's Smart India Hackathon movie we have launched. Uh, it is becoming bigger. Till date, uh, we have received more than. Uh, uh, till date, we have received uh, problem statements from more than thirty government agencies. Uh, today, we are going to release three hundred and two problem statements. The problem statements will be up in an hour on our website. So I take this opportunity to request all the participants who have joined to look at this first batch of problem statements. Within a week, we will be releasing the second batch of problem statements, which will be around again 150 to 200 problem statements. They are under scrutiny. And together, we will and we expect large number of students to participate. Uh, we will be having large number of webinars to talk about details regarding Smart India Hackathons and timelines. But tentatively, the grand finale of this Smart India Hackathon 2022 will be planned in, uh, in June 2022, sir, uh, so that exams are over and students can focus on actually converting their ideas into innovation. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for briefing about the problem statement. And I thank uh, Minister Sir for launching the SIS 2022 problem statement. Um, students can log in and access to those problem statements. Thank you. I would now like to invite Chief Guest of today's program, Honorable Minister of State for Education, Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh Sir, to address the participants. Okay. Namaste. I extend my warm okay. greetings to Secretary School, Srimati Anita Karwalji. Secretary DPIIT, Mr. Anurag Jain Secretary Higher Education, Mr. K. Sanjoy Motiji, Chairman AICT, Professor Anil Sastabachuji, my uh, Rakesh Ranjanji and Abhay Jere, my dear innovators, entrepreneurs, and winners of previous edition of Hackathon, other distinguished guests, faculty members, students, and participants. We are present here virtually to celebrate our innovation and entrepreneurship related achievement under Azadika Amrit Mao Shop on the 75th anniversary of our independence. Here I, I feel very proud of it and also I am very happy when I recall my 34 years of uh, events, when I joined to the National Science Movement under the National Council for Science and Technology and under the Professor Yospal Sip, we tried to inculcate the scientific temperament, particularly to the young and rural population in those days under the name of Bharat Jana Vigyan Jatha. And we I still remember that the government of India school education tried long back. There was 
science unit in the school, Vigyan Mandir in the school, and they have given a lot of uh, the equipment to the school to inculcate the scientific temper to the young mind. So I just feel proud of that. Those 34 years long movement of people's science now come up to the, the highest level under these uh, programs. So with this few words, I wish to take the, this opportunity to congratulate all the winners of National Innovation Contest who have received funding or mentorship support from our ministry. I also wish to congratulate winners of Manton Hackathon and request them to continue their engagement with our security agencies to further work on their ideas. I like the film which our team had prepared on Hackathon and I am very proud that because of our effort the culture of Hackathon is getting institutionalized in our country. Another, another interesting initiative present today was Toy Business League. I hope that Ministry of Education and DPIIT will ensure that fruitful collaboration happen between the innovators and industry so that most of the idea actually get commercialized. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has often shared his vision of <coughs> building a new and Atmanirbhar Bharat. This could be achieved by supportive ecosystem and dedication and effort of our innovators and entrepreneurs. Our future should merge the best of our tradition with the best of the modern global outlook. Also, the world of tomorrow can be a reality without a strong, innovative, and enterprising India. Hence, achievement of our innovators and entrepreneurs under various initiatives of Ministry of Education and DPIIT is really worth and celebrations. The freedom fighters gave us the fundamental gift of political freedom from the British rule. Now our innovators and entrepreneurs are playing their role in taking that freedom further by making Atma Nirbhar Bharat. Under Azadika Amrit Mahasov, we are focusing on years of struggles for independence and thereafter 75 years of ideas, 75 years of accomplishment, 75 years of effort, and 75 years of resolutions. In addition to honoring our freedom fighters, through this mouse, the young generation is being educated about the country's accomplishment, activities, and resolutions during the last 75 years in order to motivate them to take them the mission forward and realize their dream while working for their country. We strive to be a knowledge-based economy, and this is not possible without innovative spirit and entrepreneurship within our educational institutions. The National Education Policy 2020 envisions the establishment of a National Research Foundation. The outreaching goal of the NRF will be to facilitate a culture of research in our higher educational institutions. NEP seeks to establish NRF to fund outstanding peer-reviewed research and to actively seat research in universities and colleges. The NRF will 
competitively fund research in all disciplines. Hence, educational institutions in India need to shift their mindset and create environment that support high, high quality research, innovations, and entrepreneurship leading to commercializations and technology transfer. The Institute should place a greater emphasis on the quality of their innovation and research rather than on the numbers. The recent years, India has made significant improvement in the areas of innovations and startup on the world stage. Under the Global Innovation Index, India has raised from 81th place in 2015 to 46th place in 2021. This is a great achievement and it reflects New India's success narrative and our collective effort in the right directions. Intellectual property rights, innovations, and entrepreneurship are clearly key instruments to facilitate us in fulfilling the sustainable development goals and international commitment of new India. Only these are the pathways by which we can transform to a knowledge-based economy and reach our goal of a five trillion economy by 2025. <clears throat> Friends, our country has one of the largest higher education system and the third largest startup ecosystem in the world. Thus, our higher educational institutions have enormous potential to serve as enabler in the Indian innovations and startup ecosystem. Our higher educational institutions must focus their effort on instilling a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in our students, as well as preparing teachers to be innovators, creative problem solvers, entrepreneurs, and job creators. This will undoubtedly result in a revolution, not only in terms of economics, but also in terms of social and environmental transformations. Implementations of the National Education Policy 2020 in the true spirit will greatly boost the achievement met so far. The Ministry of Education has already launched program to unearth, recognize, and facilitate innovations, research, and startup in areas of higher education and school education. The collaborative programs of Ministers of Education, Ministry of Education with DPIIT, like Toy Business League for linking entrepreneurs to the concern industry is price worthy as it will take us forward towards the vision of industry academia collaborations. I hope that the initiative like Toycathon, Smart India Hackathon, institutions, Innovation Council, IP Literacy, Awareness and Patent P, financial support to the innovators through Kapla scheme. Identifying the fund, funding of early stage innovations and entrepreneurs through national innovation contests and creation of strong innovation awareness and foundation of school through school innovation ambassadors. Training programs and upcoming school innovation council would be instrumental in 
realizing the dream of India as a Brisa Guru, I once again thank all those who participated in this program and especially the innovators who have given us a pride to discuss their achievement during these celebrations. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for your address. I, I extend a hearty thanks to Honorable Minister of State for Education for sparing your valuable time from your busy schedule to grace the occasion and inaugurating the e-symposium on building innovation and entrepreneurial ecosystem in education institutions. Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Chief Innovation Officer, Minister of Education Innovation, sir, Dr. Abhijare, sir, to deliver a vote of thanks. So before getting into vote of thanks, I have two major requests for all our viewers. Our next session will start at 1.30 p.m., which is a keynote address by Sri Sridhar Vembu, founder and chairman of Zoho. It's going to be a very, very interesting session, followed by panel discussion on innovation, human values, and sustainability. And, and it is very important because you raised the issue related to sustainability during your talk, sir. Please go to our YouTube channel, that is MOE's Innovation Cell. And there is a separate program or a separate link given to all, each and every program or each and every session out there. Uh, if you look at our channel, you will see the list of all the sessions and you can actually go from one session to another session. It's very, very easy to navigate. So after this program is over, I will request all our viewers to visit the e-exhibition because we have uh, uh, actually we are uh, we are demoing these 75 innovators which we will be funding today as e-exhibitors and uh, with help and support of DBIIT and CII. So you should take this opportunity to look at their products to interact with them because the platform is so mature where you can talk to them, you can engage with them. You can actually explore how collaborations could be established. So it is going to be a very, very interesting opportunity. So I will request you all to actually visit the exhibition, e-exhibition. Uh, so link will be given in the description uh, of uh, this YouTube channel, uh, which we can, you can use. So sir, now uh, to conclude, sir, we would really like to thank our member, uh, Honorable Minister of State, Sir Rakesh, uh, Rakesh Kumar Ranjan Singh, for guiding us. We would like to thank leadership at in school education department, in higher education department, DPIIT, AICT, and all my colleagues at MIC, that is Ministry of Education Innovation Cell. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you uh, once again, everyone. Thank you, Abhay, sir, for uh, delivering a formal vote of thanks. Uh, I thank uh, the chief guest of the day and all the dignitaries and uh, all the uh, pa a thousand, more than thousand, uh, no, few thousand participants from various parts of the country for joining this program. I kindly request all the uh, participants to switch on your camera to take a selfie. I kindly request all the participants, experts, who are joined online for this program to take a selfie. Yeah, he has to change the screen. Yeah, please ah. take off this mask for a Change the screen. Subscribe. Screen. Screen. For us. So all, 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 all participants should be visible. Same. Multiple screen. Multiple screen. Yeah. So someone from AICT, my team there will take. Because they can, they can see, they can see multiple screens. There. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.